So there you go, Scotty and Mick, Mick and Scotty, no matter how you slice it, beautiful. You guys Give are freaking awesome. You guys are <laughs> we do have time for an interview and a future gigs thing, if they wish. We'd like to dedicate this to the wonderful Shane Eden that used to be a mainstay at this place. The old cable access may have lived for a long time. Rest in peace, brother. Yes. All right, well, we are going to see if they're interested in the interview, but they do have a show tonight, what folks. The hell? They have a freaking yes. show, so we may, uh, we may not be able to oh, be obliged to that unless we interview them while they <laughs> are here. <laughs> now, that's annoying as fuck. I'm already an annoying person. Let's keep it down on that. But uh, just for fun, here's Mick Garrison. I don't know what he's doing, but we're going to watch that. Bye. And a bunch of other people who I don't even know their names, just... Garrison. I'm a musician and loop performer in sunny Tucson, Arizona. Been playing music for about 28 years and uh, looping for about three of those years. Yeah. Looping is laying down a musical phrase and then using a looping pedal to repeat the phrase wherein you can lay other textures on top of that and then on top of all of that I will sing or rap or play other instruments. <laughs> Things I'm trying to get across with my music are fun and funky. I do all the drum sounds with beatboxing which gives it like an old school hip-hop kind of vibe and that lends itself perfectly to the electric bass and the berry sax that I tend to feature. And I also use children's toys that I've modified and uh, or circuit bent as it's called to generate my tones. Uh, I got turned on to looping by watching internet videos of some of the great masters out there. Uh, Tucker, there's uh, Reggie Watts, and a bunch of other people who I don't even know their names, just, just you know, enjoy their music. I'm looking to raise $3,000, and that is to get some new equipment that will really take my music to the next level, and also get some maintenance work done on some of my old equipment, because playing out on the street really takes a beating on this gear. Um, the money will also go to duplicating CDs and DVDs, and securing a venue for the performance, and mailing off any rewards that need to be mailed off. Oh, and to pay for filming. I'm going to throw some money to the filmmaker. Uh, 
Well, in the beginning of the night, they're all very friendly and nice and sober, and there's a lot of small children that like to stop by and dance to what I'm doing. Uh, but as time goes on throughout the night, they get a little more boisterous, uh, loud, and crazy, and they all want to come up and play my stuff. And that's kind of a nightmare. But actually, it's really improved my connection to the audience and how to read situations and uh, you know how to deal with strange people. Well, the TV is just an old black and white TV that I put to snow and I painted uh, a smiling face on it because they say there's nothing good on TV anymore and I, I disagree. But basically it's uh, visual appeal, gets people's attention and it does. I mean, it, it, people of all ages can't help but stop and stare and smile and it kind of lets people know this is a friendly situation. That was Mix Garrison, uh, not with Scott Kerr for that one, but you get the idea. You know, they're both artists that do a lot in this town, really solo with accompanying of others at times, especially I guess Scott Kerr's pretty active still in that accompanist role. <laughs> uh, but their thing together is just tits. But, uh, yeah. It is pretty fantastic. Right? Thanks, right? right? You're already plugged in. Good job. Uh, love it. Thank you, Mick. You made my night. Thank you. You know I've been waiting for this. Come on. The last time you guys came on, Yay. the last time you you brought in Yay. new viewers. I like you more. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Your Bean Street show with Craig. Come give it a massage. Don't yeah. yeah. massage. Yeah. A couple of nights. Oh. Hey, you got to give him a massage now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Hell, yeah. yeah. Love yeah. these guys. Oh, yeah. It's a good day. One more, more time for Mick Garrison. And Scott Kerr, enough oh, cock massaging on the Art Fest show. No happy we've got, None? we've got Mick <laughs> right there. We've got some What's more guests. We got Thomasina Cooper, Tommy Supernova. This chick, I've been waiting. Are we doing another uh, music video? You want to do titles while you're thinking of what you're doing? Well, I'm jamming. Let me do a thing. Up on my, uh, 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 Tommy Supernova page. Tommy Supernova. What's that spelled? Because it never comes up. Why That's what I, I was going to guess. Yep, do. Why don't I find that on my me. cell phone? All right. So, yeah, there, as you see, this is Tommy Supernova, Thomasina, right there on your screen now. And what would you think, Tommy, of, of Mick Garrison and Scott Kerr? I mean, they are always awesome. What? Uh, exactly. Thank you. Oh, oh, man. Always. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, uh, Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Sorry. Where? He's pulling one out. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that's my vine, so no. Go back down. Go back. <laughs> there it is. Wait. I had this one and that one I just put up today. All right, let's see what this is. Here we go with a jam session at Maker House. Lovity doo da, diggity dong. <laughs>
Yeah. 